Hey everyone, it's Jill from Go English Coach. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself today so we can get to know each other a little bit better. And I wanted to tell you about this. Does everybody see that? This little tiny thing and why this little thing is so important to me. So I have to tell you a story. When I was in my early 20s, I won't tell you how long ago that was, <clears throat> excuse me, I traveled with a group of American students or recent graduates and we went to, our goal was to um, visit refugee camps in Europe. So we flew um, from the United States to um, and visited Germany, Italy, Brussels, Switzerland, and France. Now, um, this was a really exciting trip, but I didn't really know what to expect, right? And the people that I was going with were just new friends, but anyways, we went to a number of refugee camps in Europe. And so at that time, there were some other wars that were going on. Um, there were things going on in Africa and Eastern Europe. And so we went, like I said, we went to a variety of different um, refugee pl places, re refugee camps, um, uh, safe homes for people. And one of these places I'll never forget, and it really changed the course of my life. We went to this place in Germany, a, a small little home. There was maybe, you know, eight or 10 um, people who had come from various places around the world. And there was this one man, they had cooked us this beautiful dinner, right? Beautiful dinner. We all were sitting together laughing. Not many people spoke English. Um, hi, Jorge. Um, not many people spoke English, but we were making it work. And um, so we had this beautiful dinner. We were so grateful and, and everything to hear their stories of, of you know, um, triumph, how they got away from where they were in their country. Um, but I'll never, for, I, oh, and I also remember being really enchanted by the kids, right? So all of these little kids that were playing together, they were from France and, um, you know, Africa, Bosnia, there were people from just all over. And um, the kids were playing together and they didn't care. They didn't care that they didn't speak the same language. They just knew like that love language, right? Like, I don't care where you're from. I just want to be with you and hang out. And they, the cool thing is they were making it work, right? So they were just kind of using sounds and, um, and you know, gestures to kind of explain what they were trying to do. And it worked. It was, it was just beautiful. That was one of the things I really, really remember. Another thing I remember um, was the story that this guy told us. And I won't say the details of it because it was pretty... Um, scary, but he had um, come from Eastern Africa and, and there was, hi Mohammed. Um, there was a lot of stuff going on there at that time and he had described this scenario where in the middle of the night he had to leave everything, um, leave his home, leave his, all of his belongings, <clears throat> um, many of his family members and he threw what he could in a black garbage bag and and grabbed his son and they left and you know a lot of us heard the 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 longer story the more details of his story and you know we were crying is because it was so sad and so different from you know all of us who had you know for the most part a group of students who were privileged right we had been able to go to college and we didn't really have to worry about somebody you know bombing our hometown or our home or you know any of those awful, awful things that come with war and, and things like that. So, you know, our hearts just were open with, with all of that. And um, I'm going to cry. <laughs> but I remember, um, I'll never forget this, right? Like the details of his story, I, I will never forget. I will never forget the, the, the joy on his face for having people who would listen to him and, and people from... Uh, you know, a different part of the world who were caring. They, you know, he couldn't 
say more about um, how 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 grateful he was that we cared, right? That we were going to do something and we wanted to do something to help that situation. And the biggest thing was, um, I'll never forget this. So the man who had the garbage bag with all of his belongings in it said, wait, wait, wait. You know, we were about to leave for the day. He says, wait, wait, wait. And he goes and gets his garbage bag and shows us this bag. And he digs all the way down into the bottom of it just lots of little things in there. I don't even know what was in there, but he, he's like, you know, came around and gave each one of us a gift. And he was so, um, like I said, he was so grateful that we were listening. And, um, and he, he gave me this little car. And, um, you know, it seems so small and little, but it was like touched my heart in such a deep and impactful way that um, I have kept this for probably, I don't know, 20 plus years. And um, it sits right here on my desk. Um, but his generosity and, um, you know, openness and kindness uh, really inspired me to want to help people who were going through what he had gone through. And um, so after that is when I decided I wanted to help people who were refugees or immigrants. And the way that I thought I could do that was by helping people to learn English. Um, so that's kind of why and where my love for English um, is comes from. I, I love teaching and I love helping people. I think that, you know, this little, this little thing this one little tiny thing really did change um, the course of my life. When I came home from that trip, I decided to, um, to oh, I know you guys. It's, it's a tough story, but I think the, the story is beautiful because it shows the resilience of humans, right? Like we can go through difficult things and, and it's okay. And then there are people there to help us and asking for help and needing help is like, okay, you know? So, so that's what I did. After that trip, I came home and I swore I was going to try to help. Um, and I did. I went to school to learn to be a teacher. Um, I got my master's degree in teaching English as a second language. Um, I, you know, I've had a number of students over the years. I've worked with people from all over the world. Um, uh, and I really just love it. And I love helping people. I mean, that's the thing, right? Like more than anything, I love English and I love teaching that. I love teaching grammar and things and whatever, but mostly what it is is I love helping people get to where they want to go, right? Because whether it's a better job where you can make more money or it's, you know, you want to immigrate or, you know, move to another place where, you know, the language is English, it doesn't matter what the what the reason is, but we need help and um, and it's okay. So I just wanted to tell you guys that story behind this little thing. Um, I'm glad you guys listening. If you've got any questions, you know, you can always reach out to me. I'm here to help. Um, I'll be doing these Facebook lives now, um, mostly every day. So if you guys have comments or questions or things that you want to check in about, um, please put them in the comments here or afterwards, you know, message me and uh, I'm happy to help. So Thanks, you guys. Thanks for listening to my story and why this thing has survived the test of time <laughs> in my in my world. I've always had to tell my kids, like, don't touch that. Don't touch that. It's really something that for me has been super special, this small little thing. But it meant it meant a lot, you know, that gesture of kindness. So, well, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I've got a couple of lessons to teach today, and um, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.